So it's freezing out. Here's what I do. I get in, start, and go. Probably not the best thing to do, but did you know that letting your car warm excessively is just as bad? A lot of people do it, let their car idle good and long, maybe even long enough to hop in the shower, so when you jump in, it's warm. But not so fast as automotive technician Jason Scully. And what can that do? It can introduce unspent fuel into uh, the oil. It turns out it's not good to let your car warm too much or not enough. Say you hop in your car, start it up, drive a mile, and now you're on the highway at 75 miles an hour. That is not good either. So what's the magic number? Kevin Keniston, owner of Lex Connection, has been in the automotive business for 40 years. What do you do? My vehicle, I usually, because I, I only drive probably four miles to work, so my vehicle, I usually warm up five, seven minutes um, before I head out. Yeah, I got a car starter for Christmas. <laughs> Marlene Scholl good. says her car's old, and she's guilty of letting it warm up too long, but she's not going to apologize. I have to. It's so cold. Yeah. It's Maine. It's 10 degrees or 5 degrees. <laughs> so... You have to warm it up. I have to warm it up. I just have to. I have no choice. So where did this myth come from that it's a good idea to warm your car? Well, before fuel injection, engines had carburetors. And if you didn't warm them, they'd stall. So unless you're driving your grandfather's 1969 pickup truck, there's really no need to warm it for 20 minutes or more. And a lot of it is myths and a lot of it's opinions. Of course, the other downfall of letting your car warm up for, say, 20, 30 minutes, you're using more gas, and you're also harming the environment. In Westbrook, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.